set for action here at the Boston Garden. There's the referee for tonight's game, number five, Wally Harris. The two linesmen, number nine, John D'Amico, and number 23, Leon Stickle. In goal for the Bruins tonight on our left, Gilles Gilbert is 32nd start of the year, 22 wins, four losses, and five ties at 2.87 goals against average. And Tony Esposito in goal for the Chicago Blackhawks as he has been for all but two of the games so far in the National Hockey League this season for the Blackhawks. 42nd start of the year, 18 wins, 9 losses, and 14 ties. All set for great action, Blackhawks and the Bruins. Play-by-play, -play, Fred Cusick. Stan Mikita on the faceoff, clears it over the Boston line, Bobby Orr with it. And a quick change by Chicago, as Orr rushes out by Dale Talon, back in action. Esposito, he's in the line on Brother Tony, and he misses the net. Has it again. Drives it in front. It's knocked away. A breakaway. Dennis Howe getting back for it. Al Sims. Dennis Howe has to go to the corner and fires right on and he'll bear the save. And what exciting action at the start. Phil Esposito walked in and uh, went to the backhand but failed to connect. Here's Hodge trying to move in on Dick Redman. And they battle in the corner now. Redman to Bill Wyatt in the crowd buzzing. Busick intercepts. Busick to Phil Esposito and the backhander misses. Sims Keeps it in behind the net. Deflects to Dick Redman. Clears it out by everybody. Down to the Boston end and back for it, Al Sims. And the crowd still buzzing. This broadcast authorized by the Boston Bruins Hockey Club solely for the entertainment of our viewing audience. Any broadcast, rebroadcast, or other use of the accounts and, the, and descriptions of this game without the express written consent of the Boston Bruins or TV 38 is prohibited. Esposito, here it is. Great play by Phil Esposito, but watch Tony now. Phil lets up here just a little bit. Doesn't take it quite far enough. If he'd taken a little farther, he might have been able to use that backhander to flip it back in that top corner, but a good move by brother Tony Esposito. Hodge has it. Back to Sims, moving well in. The shot blocked by Bill White. And White now moves it out to center ice. Mackey with it to Dale Talon. Two on one. Over the line. Broken up by Orr. He broke up Talon who had Dennis Howell free and clear on the left wing side, tried to hit him with a pass, and Orr stopped it. Dennis Howell keeps it in to Dale Talon. Can't connect with Pico Mackey, and out comes Busick. Pass, stop, deflects to Mackey. He's offside on the play. 8.32 left, just underway, Boston Garden. And uh, lots of excitement. Uh, after the Esposito uh, failed to beat Brother Tony, down came Dennis Howell with a good shot on net, but fortunately had to go fairly wide into the boards to get the shot away. One of the dangers uh, from the Chicago Blackhawks point of view of the system they're playing with the defenseman standing up on the red line is the fact that when the defenseman carries the puck, we'll go into that in a minute. Puck driven in by Phil Russell, taken by Vadnay, who's on with Dallas Smith. Sanderson and Vadnay. Makita takes Sanderson out as Vadnay rushes. Clears it over the line, gets it again, and the play ruled offside. When the defenseman carries the puck on offense, the center iceman is usually open and uncovered because the center iceman for the Blackhawks is moving up to forecheck. And that's what happened there. The defense, Chicago's defense moved up to center or the perfect pass in behind the defense. Esposito moving beautifully, and he moved in on Tony, but uh, Tony Esposito made a great move. Phil Russell now can't connect with Makita. Dallas Smith to Sanderson to Ford. And again, it's ruled offside as Forbes ripped it off after moving over the blue line and the faceoff call. Sanderson, Cashman, and Forbes, the line for Boston with Badney and Dallas Smith. Stan Makita at center, Cliff Carl at right wing. At left wing, John Marks. On defense, Bill Russell with Doug Jarrett in front of Tony Esposito. We're at the two-minute mark, just about, of the first period and no score, Boston and Chicago. The draw to Dallas Smith over to Badney. And a bouncer in on Tony Esposito for the save for Phil Russell. And he move it out. Marks does. Makita breaks by Vadney over the line. Cuts inside as Hall down on the play. And uh, no call. Out comes Cashman as Makita was really racked up. Cashman trying to move in with Vadney, the play offside. Good shift by Stan Makita. He came down that left side. He faked Dallas Smith to the outside, which, of course, would be to Dallas's right. And then he cut back on. Watch him cut on the inside. Now, Dallas just broke, break himself just a little bit. He caught him with the leg. Might have been a penalty call, but there was no call by the referee. 
Vadney loses to Marks. Marks over the line for Jarrett, broken up by Vadney. Vadney out in the center ice for Forbes. Checked by Cliff Carl, fed in, controlled by Jarrett. Around for John Marks, the left wing on the line, checked by Sanderson. And Cashman, Sanderson for Dallas Smith, for Vadney. Fires, blocks, Vadney, broken up, gets it again for Cashman. In for Sanderson, right near the net, in front, broken up by Tony Esposito, or Forbes would have had an open net. Out comes Cliff Carl. Carl over the line, Forbes checking back. Puck kept in, Makita, a drive. Wide, John Marks with it. John Marks in the corner. Behind the net, Nikita still with it. Loses to Vadney on the pass, and Vadney starts it out. Flip pass for Dallas Smith. Dallas Smith ragging it now as Boston changes on the fly. In for Markov, and he ran into Cashman, and the play ruled offside. There's a break in the action with the score Boston nothing, Chicago nothing. Let's pause for this message. Pep Quidlin behind the Boston bench. The faceoff, Shepard, Marcotte, O'Reilly line against Martin. Darcy Rota on the left and Jim Pappen on the right. And Bill White to Dick Redmond. And the Blackhawks break it out. Long shot, a dipper as he cut that on edge. And Gilbert made the stop. Off for Shepard. Stopped by Bill White at the line. Fed in. Stopped by Orr. Quick beat out looking for Marcotte. It goes wide. Back for it, Bill White first. And it is called for icing. Had a chance at the Canadian consulate today to see the uh, film series and the highlights of the Team Canada Russia series. And Phil White, one of the standouts, but uh, Phil Esposito and Paul Henderson, that was some series. Well, I'll tell you, Fred, the four games that we saw uh, witnessed and very fortunately in uh, Canadian cities, a tremendous series. White gets it outside the line. A quick pass for Martin for Dick Redmond. Shot in, saves Gilbert. He controlled the rebound, but Tappen behind the net gets it, hit by Sims. Shepard spills. O'Reilly trying to come out. Up for Orr, fails to connect. And Dick Redmond with it for Chicago. Different style by Chicago. Of course, they were missing Stan Makita in that last game, that 2-2, where they played very defensive throughout the game, and the Bruins tied it at the end. But this more open. From the early uh, minutes indication, as Shepard clears it in, stopped by Esposito. Clears it away from uh, Marcotte in the corner. Pass to O'Reilly from Shepard, tried to set up Orr, and it's knocked to center ice by Chicago. Orr right back, over the line for Marcotte, watched by White. Marcotte's pass checked. Martin leaving it for White. Back for uh, Martin, checked by O'Reilly, but White covers. Sends Dick Redman away, good rushing defenseman. Redman right up the middle. Over the line, trying to penetrate. A tough angle shot, and he missed. Went deep, and Mackey. And now Martin keeps it in, and Marcotte knocks it out. Shepard on it. Back for Marcotte. Looking for Orr. Didn't connect with him. Dennis Howell, a long pass. Develops into a shot on Gilbert for a save, and Al Sims with it. 14.47 left, first period. Phil Esposito broken up by Chico Mackey, but gets control again. Off for Orr. For Al Sims, center ice. In for Esposito, in alone. Here he comes. A save by Tony. Incredible. Phil Esposito has been in alone twice. Back comes Dennis Howell. Check. Dale Talon keeps it in. To Dennis Howell behind the net, broken up by Busick. The puck fought for. Busick digs it out for Hodge. Incredible. Phil Esposito in twice. In the early minutes here, Dennis Howell intercepts on Sims. Hodge knocks down Dennis Howell. Dale Talon at center. Chico Mackey at right wing. Sims trying to come out. No score in the game and two superb clean cut chances by Phil Esposito. A little bit more harassed this time. Now Sims from center right. Center right moves it in. Back for it first, Phil Russell. Up for Dennis Howell. Broken up by Hodge for Busick. And when Busick got control, batted it in deep. Phil Esposito was offside. Second breakaway for Phil Esposito, but this one was only a partial breakaway. I think you got to credit Phil Russell for a very fine defensive play on Phil Esposito. He drew Tony to the other side this time, to Tony's right, and I think he had that opening, but he went to shoot the puck, and as he did, Russell hooked him from the side and knocked the puck off his stick. I don't think he ever really got a shot away. 
Doug Jarrett with it for Chicago. 13-35 left. First period, no score. Callen trying to come out. Dennis Hull checked by Phil Esposito. Phil Esposito moves it in the corner. Jarrett after him. Checks him off the puck. Dennis Hull moves it around. Hodge on his off wing. Back to Dallas Smith. Hit it on the go. And it went wide. Phil Russell away from Hodge. Starts it out for the Hawks. Up to Dennis Hull. To Dale Talon. Talon over the line. Blocked by Vadney. Vadney behind the net. Checked by Mackey. Vadney controlling. Seven minutes played. First period. No score. And Vadney right up the middle. Fakes Russell, but is broken up by Jarrett as Russell made a move at him. And those Chicago defensemen really play up. There they are now, just outside the Boston line as the Bruins' Vadney winds up, starting out. Here comes Vadney again. This time a clear in, caught by Tony Esposito. Dropped for Russell. Broken up by Phil Esposito. Deflects to Hodge. Clear in for Phil Esposito, but Tony beats him to it. Trying to move it out. Stopped by Dallas Smith inside the line. His pass blocked. Gets it again to Phil Esposito in the corner. A centering pass blocked by Russell. And Russell jams it up. Can't get a face off though. And it's Hodge to Busick. Looking for Vadney. Fed in back deep for Hodge. To Dallas Smith closing the shot. Save. Hodge with it. Wheels. A save. Loose. Busick trying to poke it in. And it is tied up by Talon as the Bruins did everything but score. And a penalty coming up on Chicago for handling the puck. With the score, Boston nothing, Chicago nothing. Let's pause for this. For a long time now, State Street... Bill Esposito is getting a two-minute penalty for holding here. In front, right there, I guess that's where it came. We thought that they were going to get a penalty for falling on the puck. Talon dropped right on the puck and put his hand over it, and of course that is illegal. But Esposito's for holding at 8.01. So Boston gets the penalty. Phil Esposito for holding, and Shepard, Mark, Ottawa, and Sims as Redmond rushes. Drops it for Marks. In for Makita. Quick shot kicked out by Gilbert. Makita on it again. Can't connect with Carl. Carl now behind the net. Checked by Orr. They battle in the boards. Dug out by Orr. But Redmond keeps it inside. Stopped by Shepard. Now it's fed in deep. Carl hit by Sims. Nikita has it. Very tricky behind the net. Holding. Maneuvering. A pass back. Goes to Bill White outside the line. Nikita a key on their power play. White fails to connect with Carl. And this is icing. Sims there first. 119 left on the penalty to Phil Esposito, who uh, probably felt he's been held enough in front of that net, so uh, he grabbed, I believe it was Talon. Uh. Not dressed tonight for the Boston Bruins. Daryl Edistrand still uh, trying to recover from that bruised knee. He is skating, but has not been cleared by the doctors for action. Of course, Ken Broderick is not dressed. Ross Brooks is the backup goaltender. Mike Weiser, the backup goaltender for Chicago. The draw to Chicago. They now have Martin happen with Darcy Rota and Dick Redman. His Redman rushing. In for Martin. The play is offside at the Boston line. And now let's pause for this program reminder. The master of the misspoken word. It's Norm Crosby and Everything Goes. Weeknights at 8.30 on TV 38. All fun and games. The draw to Redmond again, who's on with Bill White. Now to Darcy Rhoda. Drops it for Redmond. The shot. Save. Score by Tip Martin as it just stayed there as it came on a deflection off the skate of Gilbert. Just laid at the crease, and Martin had an empty net goal. Fine play by Darcy Rhoda, the fine youngster for the Chicago Blackhawks. Watch this nice little drop pass to the back here. Redmond with Orr as a screen. The save by Gilbert. Here comes Martin now. He had an open net right here. And he just scooped it in, making no mistake, lifting it up into that top corner. Martin gets the goal. That's his 20th of the year. Rhoda will get an assist on the play on that nice pass to Redmond. Makita breaks up Vadney as he started to move. Sanderson now whips it around the boards. Forbes checked by Carl to Makita. A backhander is saved by Gilbert. He sweeps it around for a Wayne Cashman. 
Pitt Martin the goal. Darcy Roder and Dick Redman will have the assist. 20th of the year for Pitt Martin. Forbes clears it out, but Jarrett moves it right back in. Sanderson trying to move it out with Forbes, but Carl is there. Now Forbes with it behind the Boston net. 1-0 Chicago on a power play goal. Badney trying to come out. Solid four checking by Chicago. Badney checked twice, but Dallas Smith rushes. Intercepted by John Marks. Chicago solid defensive work now as Marks sent a skipper that just went wide of the net and the right pad of Gilbert. Forbes trying to move out on Carl. Checked there by Carl on the faceoff in the Boston zone. 9.56 left first period. 1-0 Chicago. The Chicago goal on the power play. Their 32nd of the year. Martin is 20th goal of the year from Darcy Rota and Redmond at 9.02. Martin with the open net. Beat Jill very easily. The draw to Phil Russell. Quick shot is wide. Long rebound. Cashman on a break to Sanderson with Forbes. Elects to go instead to Cashman. And that did not work. As Forbes was heading looking for the lead pass and he was outside. As Sanderson tried a behind the back maneuver. To Wayne Cashman. The draw to Vadney. Drives it in wide of Tony Esposito. Russell checked by Forbes. And a face-off call by referee Harris out to the right of Tony Esposito. In case you missed last night's games, Montreal defeated Toronto 4-3. Rangers 4-2, 4-1 over Atlanta. The draw to Vadney. The shot high over the head of Tony Esposito and Jarrett on it. For Stan Makita. Now to Cliff Carl and the Hawks break. Driven in wide of Gilbert. Back for Vadney. For Cashman. Can't connect with Sanderson. Back in the Chicago end, Bill Russell. Checked by Cashman in the corner. They battle. Cashman still digging. Sanderson there. Trying to make a play to Vadney. Vadney keeps it in. And now it's dug out by Marks. Dallas Smith right up over the line. Left to Forbes. Forbes shot. Saved Tony Esposito right on the mark. Tony held the short side. The clear around the boards. Sanderson golfs it up. Marks battle, but Makita breaks it out. Coming up on Vadney. Broken up by Dallas Smith and Vadney. And Vadney with it behind the net. Up for Forbes. It's along the dasher. Trying to come out. Does with Dallas Smith. With Sanderson and Cashman. Left to Sanderson. Quick shot blocked by Bill White. White lost his stick. Kicks a pass over to Redmond. And back to Vadney. Keeps it in. Drives from the line. Good glove save by Tony Esposito. There's a break in the action with the score Chicago 1 and Boston nothing. Let's pause for this message. This winter, you need all the summer you can get. Chasing the sunshine, looking to warm my soul and body. With Eastern Airlines' new personalized vacation planning, you can have a vacation as unique as you are. Talk to your travel agent or call the airline that's working harder for your dollar. Get the most summer this winter from Eastern, the wings of man. Chicago won Boston nothing, 825 left to play first period. The only goal so far, Martin, his 20th of the year from Rhoda and Redmond at 902 on the power play. Esposito was in the penalty box for holding at 801. Called by uh, referee Wally Harris right in front of the Chicago Nets. Draw to Al Sims, wrist shot in, save Tony Esposito, cut loose as he lost it for the moment. And now, Hodge checking Redmond, trying to pass it in front. Can't quite check it, still battle. Still a battle, and a whistle by Harris and the faceoff call as Mackey is back to help out Bill White against Hodge. And Tony had that shot and then lost it dangerously. Dennis Hull back after an injury. He did not play in the 5-5 tie at Chicago. Usually plays with Martin and Pappen on that left side, but tonight he's playing with Mackey at center and Dale Talon on the right side. Now Talon was acquired. Here's that drive by Sims. Tony looked like he had this, but it seemed to squirt out of his glove as Hodge checked him in front, and then it was tied up against the board. Talon acquired from the Vancouver Canucks. 
as uh, Desjardins, or Gary Smith, rather, the goaltender, went over to uh, Vancouver. The draw to Al Sims. The drive and a save by Tony Esposito. Good hard shot by Sims. Esposito trying to center it. Check. And Dale Talon is out with Dennis Howell. Dennis Howell clears it in the corner. Al Sims quickly up. Stopped by White. For Talon. For Dennis Howell. Broken up. Or sends Busick away on the left side. Busick over the line. Slides it in. Tony Esposito blocks it. Busick digs for it. Away. Up in front. Or a flip down. Top angle as Esposito was down. Tony Huck batted in the air by Hodge. Called for a faceoff outside the line. And Bobby Orr almost had this, but he was at a tough angle. There's a replay coming up that Busick with the puck. Tony Esposito feels that Orr will move in as White tries to clear it. And here it comes back. Orr moving in. Esposito, Orr with it. Just touched in front. And Tony Esposito once again. Very agile in the Chicago net. Savard is at center, and he hasn't uh, played in a stretch with Mark out at left wing, Adlison at right. Puck to flex out, and Darcy Roeder collecting it over the red line is ruled outside as Pep Whittlin is going with, in essence, a fourth line here. And I wonder, Savard not playing with a helmet, Fred, whether he discarded it altogether or not, but he had one shift in a game just recently where he did not wear the helmet, but we sort of assumed that it was a sudden change as he replaced Esposito, but he doesn't have it on tonight. He broke a stick on the faceoff against Martin. Sims clears it in. Savard is centering Adlison on the right and Marcotte on the left, and Pitt Martin sends Roder away, broken up by Orr. Fed back, intercepted by Jarrett. Jarrett a clear in, a bouncer on Gilbert. Seven minutes left in the first period. Chicago leads 1-0, a power play goal by Pitt Martin. Bobby Orr starts it out carefully. Savard falling down, gets back on side as Orr moves it in. But Russell on it quickly. And this clear, too far ahead. Back for it, Sims and Martin. And icing called on the play. That trade, uh, Dale Talon came over to Chicago for Jerry Korab and, and Gary Smith. With the score, Chicago won and Boston nothing. Let's pause for this. What you doing on your day, oh? oh what you doing on your day, oh? CJ Pyler, it's fun to drive. Meet the ultimate get-up-and-go vehicle, the four-wheel drive Jeep CJ5. She makes work easy, roughhousing fun. Oh, what you doing on your day, oh? oh what you doing on your day, oh? Jeep CJ5. If you've got some tough four-wheeling in mind, I wouldn't try it on anything but a genuine Jeep CJ5. Face off now to the left of Tony Esposito, 636 left. Sanderson now, Forbes and Cashman with Bad Man Dallas Smith. The draw to Chicago. Dick Redman with it. They lead 1 0. Redman lost his control on the pass, and Bad Man is back to fire one deflected into the crowd by Dick Redman. Face off is called just at the Chicago blue line. With uh, 6.20 left in the first period. Phil Esposito, the only penalty of the game for holding at 8.01. And at 9.02, Kip Martin scoring a power play goal for Chicago. Vadney slides it in. Back for it. Redmond to White. Intercepted Dallas Smith. Locked. Cashman trying to flip it back. Goes to the Boston line. Again, tight defensive work by Chicago. Demonstrating... Uh, some of the uh, work they showed in the last game here, 2-2. His standard hit. Sanderson stealing from Bill White. Over the line. Good shot and a beautiful save by Tony Esposito as Sanderson let go a blistering drive. Great drive by Derek Sanderson. Individual effort. He intercepted a pass at center here. Bill White trying to make this pass to the center. Sanderson with a slap shot off that left side. Esposito coming out to block the angle, and he made a great stop. Forbes keeps it in. 
camp center at White intercepts to Dave Crisco. First appearance playing left wing. Carl moves by Dallas Smith into the corner. Bumps with Forbes. They battle. That got around the corner and Cashman there winding up for Boston. Crisco more defensive forward than uh, Darcy Rhoda. His Cashman. Beautiful stick hand. He breaks it out. Picks up Sanderson. Left to Forbes. Can't get it back with White intercepting. And behind the net, Cashman digging in the corner. Makita checked by Sanderson. Badney slides it back in deep. Fine rush by Cashman. But you see the value of White's defensive play. He made a big move. Bruins break it up. Not inside the line, though, and Cashman plays it back. Five minutes left in the first period. one nothing Chicago. Here's Busick to Sanderson. Can't move in. And Mackey breaks it out. Left to Crisco. Back for Dale Tallon. Up for Mackey. His shot went wide. Tallon keeps it in. Fires in front. Knocked away by Dallas Smith. Almost in the net off Dallas's glove as Cashman starts it out. Now for Sanderson. Back for Cashman. Can't combine with Sanderson. With it, Dennis Hall, Lachico Mackey. Mackey centers it. And Badney clears it. All the way to the Chicago end, and it will be called for icing as Bill Russell is back. There's a break in the action with the score, Chicago 1 and Boston nothing. Let's pause for this message. Ready, hockey experts? It's Budweiser memory flogger time. Got a full can, a bottle of Budweiser ready? It'll really add to your enjoyment of tonight's game and tonight's memory flogger, because Bud is brewed to stop thirst cold. Speaking of cold, that word's a clue to the question I'm going to ask. In the 1919 Stanley Cup playoffs, nobody won. Do you know why? We'll have the answer later in the game. Till then, enjoy yourself. You know how. Face off to the right of Gilbert. Talon on the face off against Phil Esposito. The Hodge to Orr. 4-12 left. First period, 1-0 Chicago as Orr starts it out. Carries himself. In for Phil Esposito when he was checked by Talon. Couldn't get the shot away as Orr hit him with a pass. And Dale Talon right back. Moving well. The shot blocks. The flex to Busick. Around the corner for Hodge for Orr again. Orr starts it out. Everybody back for Chicago. They have a one nothing lead. Orr. Knocked down by Phil Russell and he's going out for tripping. Russell for tripping Orr. And Boston will have the man advantage. First Chicago penalty of the hockey game, number five. Phil Russell goes into the penalty box. This will be called at 16 minutes, 25 seconds of the first period. Chicago one, Boston nothing. Now let's pause five seconds for station identification. This is WSBK TV, Channel 38, Boston. There's the tripping call as Orr tries to cut over from that right side through the center to the left wing, and Russell, with his leg out, dumps him down. And you can see that tight Chicago defense. Three players right there in the center. Esposito, Busick, Hodge with Vadney and Orr. Crisco is out there with Chico Mackey, Jared, and White. And the draw is cleared by Bill White. 3.30 left in the first period. Chicago getting a goal and a power play by Pitt Martin. That's the only goal of the game. And Boston now with their first man advantage opportunity. Started out as Phil Esposito. To Orr, plenty of room there. Wheels in deep, still going, still holding. Puts it to Phil Esposito and it bounced away from him. And Crisco breaks out with Chico Mackey. And they were offside at the Boston blue line. One thing I noticed, Fred, on that last shift prior to the penalty, Esposito had two breakaways cutting through the center as Orr was carrying the puck on both occasions. The third time, Talon was right with him. Now, Billy Ray may have instructed Talon to stay with Esposito, do not do the forechecking as much as he was doing before, but try to pick up Phil through the center because Bobby and uh, Phil are working that very well, or they did earlier. They may have to stop now because Talon is on uh, Esposito. Bad night clears it in. Tony Esposito blocks it for Bill White. White clears it up the boards. And he has been a solid factor on defense for Chicago. And 
the All-Star, and you can see why in key situations. 105 left on the penalty as Orr starts it out. For Hodge, fed back in off Phil Esposito's stick to Busick. Busick out in front, can't connect. Orr keeps it in to Vadney. Vadney for Phil Esposito. Quick shot, save Tony Esposito. Busick has it. Long flip to Vadney. Drive, deflected wide. Hodge with it. Back to Vadney. Over to Orr. Orr. Back for Vadney. Drives and misses. Long rebound. Orr. Up for Busick on his off wing. Busick with Jarrett losing the stick. A shot in by Orr. Misses. Jarrett playing without a stick. Vadney drives. Tony Esposito alertly falls on the puck. And 22 seconds left on the penalty. Excellent power play, but no goal. Good passing by the Bruins on the power play, who lead the National Hockey League with 43 power play goals. Getting it out to the points to Vadney and Orr. Their drives three out of the four times missed the net. The third time, Esposito, Tony that is, grabbed it for a big faceoff because Jarrett, their defenseman, one of their two defensemen, playing without a stick, a very uh, tough thing for any player to do. You don't have a hockey stick. It's difficult to, to, uh, to do much. And we're now going to have a slight delay. Esposito looks like he's broken the strap on his left pad. And he'll need some repairs, I would think, as he comes over to the Chicago bench. 157 left to play, first period. One goal so far. Chicago's Pitt Martin is 20th of the year from Rhoda and Redmond at 9.02 on the power play. And there you see Esposito, Tony Esposito, fixing that strap on his left pad. Our guest at the end of this period, the coach of the Chicago Blackhawks, Billy Ray. He'll also be the coach of the West All-Stars in the All-Star game coming up on the 29th of January at the Chicago Stadium. Face off to the right of Tony Esposito between Martin now and Phil Esposito. They are both waved out of there by John D'Amico, the linesman. Hodge against Pappen. It's Martin and Pappen now with Redman and White. Penalty killer. The draw to Chicago and the quick clear by Bill White. 19 seconds left on the penalty. The puck all the way to the Boston end. That may starts it out. He's on the move. Some open ice for Busick. Into the corner. Can't center it. Dug out by Tappen for Martin. Martin checked by Vadney, but breaking Redman. Esposito covers Russell, who's back on the ice. And the shot by Redman goes wide. Tappen a quick centering pass and a quick shot by Martin. Went over the net, and he was well set up. Now Phil Esposito from Hodge. Can't move in on Redman and Pitt Martin with it. 118 left in the period. A breakaway by Darcy Rota. Vadney gets back, but Pappen is over there, and Rota scores to make it 2 0. Darcy Rota picks the corner and makes it 2 0 as Vadney was back alone. And it was a breakout with Darcy Rota and Jim Pappen, and Rota scored. Here it is. Here's Rota, number 18, and uh, coming up on the right side. Is Pappen and Rhoda. Excellent shot. Look at that drive. Perfect into the corner. And that makes it two to nothing. As Darcy Rhoda scores again. He had a couple, as you'll recall, in the 5 5 game in Chicago. And uh, the Blackhawks now lead Boston two to nothing. They halted the Boston power play. And then at the tag end of it, scored to make it two nothing. Rhoda on that one. Dallas Smith can't connect. But here's O'Reilly over the line. The play ruled outside. Shepard hadn't cleared the zone. 57 seconds left in the second period. Darcy Rota, rookie, 13th of the year. Eighteen forty-eight. Pitt Martin gets the assist, and the Blackhawks have a two-nothing lead. Russell, a long pass stopped by O'Reilly and cleared out quickly. But now it's taken by Jarrett. Flipped over the Boston line. 43 seconds left. First period. Chicago leads 2 nothing. Don Marcotte back. Check. Has control. Pitt Martin. And the Hawks work it out on a delayed call. Darcy Rhoda breaks away from O'Reilly. Can't connect with Pitt Martin as Gary Doak is on defense with... Dallas Smith. Now Marcotte. 
Over to Doak, but time running out in the period. Doak to Dallas Smith. Up for Marcotte. Blocked by Russell. And Russell bounces it down wide of Gilbert. And that's it in the first period. The score at the end of the first period. Chicago 2 and Boston nothing. We'll be back with the summary in just a minute. Now, but not in Jill's estimation as we're underway in the second period. Al Sims to Phil Esposito. Trying to get away from Callan and Mackey. To Orr. Orr weaves. May break right through. He is in. He is filled. And no call. Centering pass to Sims. The shot blocked. As Orr was spilled, breaking right up the middle and penetrating. He saw the opening, a slight opening that closed, and no call by Wally Harris. And Orr, stick handling out, has a word for Harris. As he breaks center ice again, again moves in. Now to Busick, in alone, he missed the pass. Back for Orr, blocked. Orr in the corner. Orr maneuvering, drives it to Hodge. Hodge, centering pass, blocked in front. Hodge around the board. Sims keeps it in. It goes to Hodge. Right in front. Tap loose. Dug out by Chico Mackey. And uh, Dennis Howell breaks. A scorcher that rocked off the pads of Gilbert. Rebound to Orr. Sims. Busick. Back for Orr again. Third time he's carried. Back for Busick. Sends him over the line. Broken up by Dale Tallerman. Callan passes center ice taken by Vadmay. He's over the line, trying to cut through. Broken up by Bill White. Sends Callan away on a break. Forbes tries to get back. Callan stops, cuts, looks to Mackey, and he missed on the shot. As Callan made a nice play there, stopping. Hodge breaks it out. Hodge drives on Tony Esposito the save. Bill White into the corner. Bill Esposito and Mackey battle. Still battling. White there, Dallas Smith up there, and now the whistle for the faceoff to the right of Tony Esposito. Chicago leads 2-0. Fred, just as I was going down, I saw Rota fire that puck in the first period. Beautiful shot. He really got good wood on it. Well placed for a slap shot. You know, we saw him score two goals and had a third one called back in Chicago. He had a fine goal scorer. Got a good idea where that net is, which of course is very important. On the net, that's the name of the game. Draw to Dallas Smith. The shot is very wide. Long rebound. Vadney keeps it in for Cashman. Back for a Phil Russell, though. Sanderson runs into Jarrett. Marks trying to come out. Stopped by Sanderson. Along the boards, Makita. Cashman. Cashman breaks him up. Can't set up a play, though. And Makita is out with Carl. And offside at the Boston line. Chicago in front, 2 nothing. A face-off called at center ice. Stan Mikita, who missed the last game here in Boston when Chicago was so defensive-minded throughout and checked in with two goals, had a 2-0 lead, and Boston finally tied it up in the closing seconds. Mikita was out with the flu. And now, as Billy Ray has indicated, he's got three lines pretty well set. And Badney with it now. Starting out, Mikita forechecking. Flip pass in for Sanderson. Control. Has to hold it outside, though, and play it back to Badney while Forbes moved in too deep. Forbes clears it in wide of Tony Esposito. Tony Esposito to Phil Russell. Russell looks for a faceoff and gets it. They figure with a faceoff man like uh, Nikita, they'll take the chance on the faceoffs, and with a 2 0 lead, they don't want to throw that puck away. Actually, these are two very good face-off men, Derek Sanderson and Stan Makita. Always a battle. Sanderson with a backhand draw, probably the Dallas Smith at the point. And it won't be Sanderson. He's waved out by Leon Stickle. Makita won it easily against Forbes. Jarrett, Marks. Boston checking, but Phil Russell with the puck. Looking for Marks. It broke away. Back for it. Bad name. Icing on the play as he uh, just uh, used his body to push Makita out of there and touch it first. 16.48 left in the second period 
a two to nothing lead for Chicago. Chicago goals both coming in the first period. Martin is 20th of the year at 902 on the power play. And Darcy Rhoda, 1848 of the first period. His 13th of the year. It's 2 0 Chicago. Rhoda and Martin both have a goal and an assist so far tonight. Makita beats Sanderson on the faceoff for Phil Russell. Out for Marks. Checked by Sanderson. Fed in. Tipped wide. In the corner. Forbes on it. Forbes. Checked by Carl. They're looking for faceoff. It goes out to Sanderson. Back to Dallas Smith. Over to Vadney. Hit it on the goal and missed. Nice shot by Vadney, though. He released it quickly. Dallas Smith keeps it in. Blocked. And out comes Makita with Marks trailing. Makita over the line. Quick drive just wide. And Ted, he's driving. He gets another one from the right side and misses. Jarrett left point. Up now for Carl. For Makita. Out to Carl. Ridden off by Sanderson to Forbes. To Cashman. Back for Forbes. A break here. Two men free if he can get it over there. He's all by Russell. Cashman digging for it. Forbes has it to Cashman behind the net. Can't center it. Cashman checked by Makita and Russell. And Forbes in hard there, too. But it's tied up for a faceoff. Marks starts to jam with Forbes. And the linesmen uh, move in between. Marks didn't like that late hit by Forbes. There's a break in the action with the score. Chicago 2 and Boston nothing. Let's pause for this message. Got the answer to tonight's memory flogger? Not sure yet? Well, here's one thing you can be sure of. You did come up with a taste, a smoothness, and a drinkability like no other if you've been watching tonight's game with a supply of crisp, cold Budweiser beer on hand. Man, that's good beer. Okay, why didn't any team win the 1919 Stanley Cup playoffs? The answer is bad colds. An epidemic of Spanish flu hit both Montreal and Seattle squads, and the playoffs were canceled. If you knew that, you know your hockey. Forbes trying to sneak down this left side. Now he had Vadney and, and Sanderson coming in on that right side, but he couldn't get the puck over as Russell made a fine play, knocking him down. Cashman ran Russell into the boards, and you'll see what started all the uh, pushing and shoving right here. Well, I guess we won't see that. Okay, Fred. Play on now, and over on the right wing side, O'Reilly. Holding out of the corner, a backhander pops wide of Tony Esposito. Shepard plays it around the other side. O'Reilly digging for it. Out of the boards. Drives it in, but wide. And Bill White gets control to Redmond. Up the board, stopped by Orr, right point. In for Shepard to O'Reilly. O'Reilly back to Orr. Orr, right point. Backhander blocked. Shepard. To O'Reilly, back for Shepard, he missed it and escapes. Back for Sims, though. Screenshot block, keeps it in, but now Martin works it out to Darcy Rota. And a hard drive misses the net, and he's got a screaming shot, that Rota. And he's got one goal. Here's Orr. Dances through. Save, score, Shepard on the rebound. What a rush by Bobby Orr. Talk about a tremendous play doing things as you think of them. Ecuador slide to that Chicago defense. The drive, Esposito with a fine skate save. But Shepard perfectly placed, coming in for the rebound. Tossed it into that top corner. Tony Esposito made a tremendous stop on that drive by Orr. It was partially screened, but Orr slipping through that Chicago defense like a ballet dancer. He was almost hit twice, and he finally broke through made the great play and Shepard the rebound for Greg Shepard who's had a tough time getting off the ground his fifth goal of the year or the assist watch this shift here beautiful play by Orr and there's a good stop by Esposito but he couldn't get back in time great play by Orr Shepard from Orr puck now to Don Marcotte checked on the play but he battles works it over the line Checked along the boards by Crisco and ridden off. And Pitt Martin with it. Plays it out to the Boston zone. Back for it. Sims as Bordelow is on now with Crisco playing the wings. Boston trails by a goal. His oar out by Crisco. 
in the center ice for O'Reilly over the line back for Shepard intercepted by Crisco played around the boards for Russell out Shepard battles O'Reilly keeps it in he's checked Sims keeps it in plays it in the corner to Marcotte Marcotte stopping looking to Shepard he's ridden off Marcotte has it again or signaling for it Marcotte is checked Jarrett looks for a face off and gets it as the Bruins carry the play there's a break in the action with the score Chicago 2 and Boston 1 let's pause for this message Delta is ready when you are Shepard from Orr at 514 the goal that doesn't tell the story Hodge keeps it in the music a shot over the head Tony Esposito Hodge keeps it in centering pass Mackey covers Phil Esposito and blocks it and Mackey has it from Redmond and Talon looking for a lead pass the flex near the net golf into the crowd by Gilbert and a faceoff call well or shows you something uh, different every game and you play 78 games it's a long schedule but there's something different that'll be an impromptu performance Fred really that was a great great move it looked like I think at the outset he thought he could get through the Chicago defense Bill White playing on the right side moved over very quickly he blocked that gap or at the very last split second realized he wasn't going to get through he just balleted to the other side now he went on the right wing side which is unusual for him and he moved right through a beautiful play by or the drive Tony Esposito made a fine right pad save but Shepard coming in for the rebound and you saw Tony had no chance on the play. Well, Orr had preoccupied at least three Hawks, and uh, that leaves a few Bruins free. <laughs> Esposito to Dallas Smith. He starts it out. Chicago leads two to one. Dallas Smith to Busick. Fed in wide of Tony Esposito. Talon is back. Chicago plays it around the boards. Busick to Hodge. Bounced off his stick. Rolls over to Dennis Howe. Trying to clear it out. It went off Ken Hodge and into the crowd. The faceoff call. I asked. Billy Ray about uh, Dale Talon in the, in the end of the first period, but I'll get to that in a moment. Now let's pause for this program reminder. Ollie and Stan get into another fine mess in the further adventures of Laurel and Hardy. Century Cinema, Saturday at 6 p.m., TV 38. All fun and games. Hodge clears it in. 13.02 left, second period. It's been a fine hockey game. Chicago leads 2 to 1. White. Check. Hodge can't control it. Chico Mackey for Dennis Howell outside at the Boston line as Mackey made a good play. Well, to get back to my Talon story, I asked Billy Ray about uh, changing the system a little bit with Talon covering Esposito. He was sort of noncommittal, but I noticed on this shift, Talon goes into forecheck if Esposito has the puck, and then he stays right with him as soon as he makes Esposito pass the puck. He stays right close to him, and he lets the man carrying the puck, in this case it was Dallas Smith, he doesn't continue to forecheck. He picks up Esposito and swings back. That is a change from the outset because Esposito got in twice all by himself. Bad name from Dallas Smith. And a bouncer in. Tony blocks it for Bill White. White starts it out for Chicago. Now to big Dale Talon. Trying to go through. In the corner, can't center it. Bad name. Around for Busick. Too far ahead. He pokes it by White, though. He breaks over the line. Music cutting. Drops it for Badney. For Hodge. A backhander popped in the air. Badney tried to move it in front, but somebody, a Bruin, reached up, tapped it, and it's called for the base off outside the Chicago line. Almost a dangerous play for Boston, but watch Ken Hodge here. Will intercept the pass. He probably should have left it for Vadne. He's a right hand shot. He took it on his backhand. Watch Hodge here in Vadne. Now he could have left it for Vadne with that drive. He would have really whistled that one, but Hodge took it the backhand. They never got the good shot away. Dallas Smith to Vadne over the line. Drive in off Esposito. Busick trying to center it. It goes to the other corner. Hodge to Busick behind the net. Back for Hodge. Shot blocked. Hodge. Balls down, pops it in the air, and it's caught by Tony Esposito in the faceoff to the left of Tony. Boston carrying the play. The Bruins trail two to one. First period goals by Pitt Martin and Darcy Rhoda. He's just 20 years old. He'd be 21 in February and has a bright prospect in the National Hockey League. Shepard scoring for Boston. For Darcy Rhoda, 
He's been red hot lately. That's his fifth goal in the last four games for Chicago. And Pitt Martin has six goals in seven games. He now has seven goals in eight games. The two fellows are really producing for Chicago. Makita wins the faceoff. Jarrett to Makita. Stopped by Orr, center ice. Flips it up. Cliff Carl with it. To John Marks. Fed in the Boston zone. Al Sims. Around his marks all over Orr and Hodge digs it out. Checked by Makita. They battle. And uh, a whistle finally by Wally Harris for a faceoff to the right of Gilbert. With the score, Chicago 2 and Boston 1. Let's pause for this. Face off to the right of Gilbert. Sanderson against Makita. That was the situation. Now it's Carl against Cashman. To Forbes. Loose puck. Forbes drops it. Carl has it. To John Marks. The shot is blocked. Knocked away by Sims. For Forbes to Sanderson. Head in wide to the left of Tony Esposito. Marks is back there. Hit by Forbes. Forbes goes down. Carl plays it around the boards for Jarrett. Up the board, stopped by Orr, fed back in, bounces. Forbes, a backhander, but right to Phil Russell. And up at center ice, Carl taken out of the play by Sims and Orr with it. To Forbes, up the right side for Cashman, he's checked. Orr gets it to Cashman over the line of break. Orr, Sanderson, drop pass for Orr. Orr has to cut back for it. And his backhander is blocked. Sanderson dropped it for Orr. Here's Carl. And now Gilbert out of the net to get it. The loose puck in the Boston end for Orr. Up for Cashman to Sanderson. Plays it back to Orr, but it's a high pass. An aerial pass. Orr starts out. Two to one, Chicago. Martin checks Orr, and he got a pass away for Forbes, but it went wide. Onside, Cashman hustled in. Forbes pins Russell. Good digging by Cashman to get there first. And the faceoff now to the right of Tony Esposito. And uh, Chicago is watching Orr like a hawk. <laughs> Very good, Fred. Excellent. Two to one to score. Chicago leading the Boston Bruins. 10.06 left to play. Second period. Martin and Rhoda scoring for Chicago in the first period. Shepard scoring from Bobby Orr at 514 of the second period, his fifth of the year. And our guest at the end of the period, Carol Vadner, defenseman for the Bruins. Martin against Shepard. Marcotte checks White. Redmond with it. For White. Up for Pappen. For Redmond again. They're halfway through the hockey game. Two to one lead for Chicago. Is Dallas Smith trying to get Tappen, but the puck bounces to the Boston zone. Martin for checking on Vadney. Off for Shepard. Too far ahead of O'Reilly. Rhoda drives it around. Marcotte going after it, but it's Tappen getting it. Fed in. Struck O'Reilly. O'Reilly fought Martin, who is just getting up now as Shepard clears it in. Oh, did he hit, hit Martin. Marcotte, a centering pass. Bounces. Dallas Smith the drive and the screen hits wide. And the four checking to Boston set that up. Long pass. Dallas Smith clears it back in. White. Back for it. Icing called against the Bruins. 9-13 left. Second period. Chicago leads 2-1. to one. This line for the Bruins over the past four or five games has been a real hustle line. Shepard at center. Riley right wing. Marcotte on the left side. Playing very strong two-way hockey. They scored the only goal in that one nothing win over St. Louis on Tuesday night with uh, some great hustle by Don Marcotte and Shepard and O'Reilly. They played a very sound game, and they have so far here tonight as Shepard has scored the only goal so far for the Bruins. Shepard gets the draw to Dallas Smith. Keith Magnuson is okay on the Chicago bench, just hasn't played. Shepard can't connect with Marcotte. Buck to the Hawks zone. Russell with Marcotte in pursuit. Off to Jarrett. Stop. Marcotte with it. Quick drive saved by Tony Esposito. Fine hustling work by Marcotte. Is in again. Rolls back. Dallas Smith. 
Feeding in the corner. Stopped by Russell. Stopped by O'Reilly on the boards. Back for Dallas Smith. The shot deflected wide. O'Reilly shoves Jarrett out of the way, but Jarrett gets it. Checked by O'Reilly, and it goes into the crowd. And the faceoff is called outside the line by Wally Harris with the score. Chicago 2 and Boston 1. Let's pause for this. Mount Rushmore, where travelers tell us which credit card they prefer. I carry the American Express card because I find it's the only one that I need. We used American Express at a French department store and bought a crib for the baby. The American Express card is like a, a backstop. American Express card is probably the best you can have. The amount of money the American Express card costs is just a drop in the bucket for what it's worth. Call 800 ae 5000 to apply for an American Express card. Face off outside the Chicago line. Esposito Hodge Busick with Oren Sims. Over to or over to Sims, rather. A shot in on Tony Esposito to save. White with it. White with Redman on the Chicago defense. This is Redman. Hit by Sims. Cut loose in the corner and Busick with it. Winding up. Plays it back to Orr. 8.07 left, second period. Or to Phil Esposito by Talon. Talon getting back on Esposito. Esposito clears it in as he's ridden off at the defense. And back for it quickly is Talon. Out for Dennis Howell. Long pass stopped by Sims. Busick drives it back in the Chicago zone. Bruins keeping the heat on, but Chicago defending well. Bill White controlling. Off on the boards. Tapped out to Talon. He's broken up. Dennis Howell with it for Chicago. They have not had many shots on Gilbert in the second period, but they lead two to one. Busick into White. But it's Mackey over the line. Drop pass checked by Sims. Dennis Howell a shot. Blocked by Hodge. Mackey with it. Behind the net. Centers it. Locked in front. Hodge trying to clear it out. Camp. Kept in by Mackey. Now intercepted by Orr on his pass. And Orr slows it down. Now starts it out. The crowd yells. He set up a spectacular. Over the line. Still going. Still going. Quick shot. Save. Tony Esposito. Score Hodge. Wait a minute. Wally Harris says no. As Hodge knocked it out of the glove of Tony Esposito. And Tony is mad. But the whistle had blown. That's exactly right, Fred. A little drive by Orr. Hodge was breaking on that right side. I don't think Bobby saw him. He, he made a little flip shot here. You watch Hodge down that right side. Here's Orr with the drive. Now watch. The whistle was just blowing right there when Hodge hit Esposito's glove, knocked the puck out of his hand, and Esposito gave a little stick nudge to Hodge as much as to say, uh, look, uh, let's not do that again, fellow. The crowd really on edge when Orr starts to rush out, and is he ever moving? The puck back to Sims in the draw. The shot is wide. The other corner, Hodge, checked by Redmond, gets it over to Phil Esposito. He just couldn't get control. And it bounces to Stan Makita. Makita out on a good one to Dennis Howell. Quick shot, misses. Right side, Makita's shot. Trickles in on Gilbert, and he covers. One of the rare sorties by Chicago. They've had spasmodic ones in the second period, but not many shots on Gilbert. As we look at Jill Gilbert. Well, I played some kind of goal in St. Louis, Fred. Uh, as you know, I think that was the best goaltending I've seen for quite some time. He made four or five miraculous stops. The Bruins were not skating that well, but uh, Gilbert was immense. Makita draws for Russell, but he has to go center ice. So over to Jarrett. Back for Russell. Checked by Sanderson. Broken up by Dallas Smith. And Makita gets the loose puck. Breaks with Marks. Good stick handler. Feeds in for Carl. Mark broken up by Cashman. The Forbes. Stopped and Stan Makita with it. All the elements of a Stanley Cup game this one as Chicago leads 2-1. to one, Second period. 6-13 left. Dallas Smith around for Forbes. Forbes. A good break out here. Sanderson back for Forbes. Into the corner. Closing to Sanderson. It was blocked. Blocked by Jarrett. 
perfect setup for Sanderson. Jarrett made that one. Forbes for Sanderson. Missed it. Vadney clears it in as Jarrett moved out on him. Russell with Cashman after him. Cashman checks him into the corner, but Marks has it. Checked by Sanderson. Around for Cliff Carl. Other side, Cashman bats it. And Russell pounces on it. And the faceout call to the right of Tony Esposito. Well, you can hear the crowd. They're really on edge in a very exciting hockey game. Prior to this shift, the Sanderson's line was out there uh, outside of Shepard and O'Reilly and Marcotte. The Bruins forwards are not getting in there to challenge the Chicago defenseman quick enough. They're handling that puck, turning around and facing the play coming in. And they're making those good passes out to the center. That time, Sanderson, Cashman, and Forbes went very quickly into forecheck. But that's what you have to do against the Chicago system. You give Bill, defenseman like Bill White, a time to turn around and look at the man coming in. And he'll pass that puck by you 99 times out of 100. Very, very quick with the wrist. Makes good passes. And that's what the Bruins have to do here is they have to hustle a little quicker, get that Chicago defenseman before he gets time to turn around and look to where he's going to pass it. They saw the Kit Martin wins it for Bill White. Out to Darcy Rhoda, now to Martin. Martin over the line, drop pass for Pappen, broken up. Cashman with it from Sin. To Dallas, to Orr. Three streaks coming up on Redmond. Over the line, cuts in, and is filled, and Redmond gets the tipping call. As Orr was tripped by Redmond, and Boston will have the man advantage. With the score, is Sanderson getting a penalty? And running into Wally Harris and thrown out of the game, I'm sure. Sanderson held off by D'Amico. Sanderson got a misconduct anyway, and now he's battling D'Amico, and he'll have several games suspension. No question about that. As John D'Amico is uh, finally keeping him at bay, and why Sanderson should uh, protest, uh, the penalty was on Redmond. A tripping call against Orr and Boston, but Sanderson just uh, blew his cool. The only thing I can possibly think of, Fred, is he felt maybe that Orr might have had a penalty shot, although he was not in that clear. It was only from the side. Redmond's getting a tripping call at 1444. Sanderson really blew his cool. Why he did it, as Fred said, I don't know either, and we'll have to wait and see just what the call's going to be. John, he's out of the game, and I wouldn't be surprised out of several games. He uh, brushed uh, Wally Harris. And shoved him. And Phil Esposito finally timing him down. With the score, Chicago 2 and Boston 1. Let's pause for this. Bobby Orr, who has been magnificent tonight for the Bruins, watch him give this change of pace to Redmond. I hope we'll see Redmond just about coming into your picture. Now, right there, he sort of gives him a little change of pace. Redmond hesitates just a moment, and Orr just sifted right around him, knocked him down from the side, and he's off for tripping. Larry Sanderson draws a 10-minute misconduct and a game misconduct, and, but the Bruins will, be, will have the man advantage because the misconduct and game misconduct only affect the player involved in the penalty. They do not affect the on-ice playing strength of, uh, of the Bruins. So we have a power play situation for Boston. The penalty to Redmond coming at 14.44. Well, Frank Barry, uh, supervisor assistant uh, to Scotty Morrison is here at the game. He would have seen Sanderson fraction. At uh, the power play for Boston, and Pappen gets the faceoff and clears. Pappen and Martin, White and Jarrett. For Boston, it is Esposito, Cashman, and Hodge with Vadney and Orr. Cashman at left wing on this line. Here comes Vadney. Esposito. Open ice. The Bruins offside. And now let's pause. Five seconds for station identification. This is WSBK-TV, Channel 38, Boston. Face off outside the Hawk blue line. Martin got that face off to White again. That's a long shot on Gilbert. One of the few Chicago's had in the period. Or breaks center ice. By White again. Spill. 
Fights to keep it in. And Hodge dies. In for Orr. Quick shot. Save. Tony Esposito as Orr was in front. Orr jams it in the corner and gets a face off. And what can you say about Orr? I tell you, he is on fire. Well, Fred, you know in St. Louis, we saw a different Bobby Orr, right? A defensive game. He played a very strong defensive game tonight. He's been offensive-minded, and he has been something else again. Knocked down there from the side. No call on the play. There's Orr with a drive. Hit the goal post off the skate of Tony Esposito. And uh, he goes into the boards with uh, Pappen, and they tie it up for a faceoff as Orr has been all over the ice, offensive-minded tonight. In St. Louis, we saw another exhibition of, of great play, but this was defensive-minded, and uh, he has made uh, some tremendous plays so far tonight. They saw to the right of Tony Esposito, 117 left, sec in the uh, penalty to Redmond. This face off, Hodge to Vadney, over to Orr. Fires, save, blocked in front. Martin clears it between the point men as Hodge and Martin start to joust a bit. Here comes Vadney. Slides it in the Chicago zone. Jarrett back quickly. Clears it into the crowd. The face off in the Chicago territory to the left of Tony Esposito. And it's been a, a very chippy game. The tempers are, are rising. And the fans are enjoying this to the utmost. Chicago leads 2-1, to and there is Orr. And now Pappen uh, coming out after a delay. He's with Martin, White, and Jarrett. White's played most of this period, I think, for Chicago, the way it's going. 54 seconds left on the penalty. Four minutes left in the period. 2-1 to one Chicago. The draw right to Vadnay. Quick shot blocked by White. Into the corner. Pappen trying to clear. Orr stops it. Over to Vadnay. A shift. Busick in front Tony Esposito on the loose puck as Busick had it tried to feed in front delayed a bit and uh, Tony was able to tie it up we've seen some great passing tonight or from the point makes a beautiful pass watch this draw by Vadney on I think that's Bill White here's the Busick he couldn't find Esposito quick enough over on that far side and it seemed to hit somebody on the way across and it was tied up by Tony Esposito Puck loose again. White trying to clear it. Hodge back to Orr. Quick shot. Block. Orr to Vadney. Quick drive. Save. Busick. Esposito missed in the pass, but it goes to Orr. 22 seconds left. Happen watching Orr. Orr. A drive. Block. And Martin gets the rebound. And it's cleared out off Happen. 10 seconds left in the penalty. Orr winds up. A crowd, listen to them. Here comes Orr. In with Hodge. Hodge closing. In front, loose. Esposito in front. Can't connect with Busick. Out comes Redmond. Busick out of the corner. Back for Vadney. Intercepted by Martin to Redmond. To Mackey. Fed back, broken up by Vadney. And the Bruins fail to score in the power play. Chicago leads 2-1. to one. Orr checked by Dennis Howell. And a puck fed in now to Dale Callen. He's hit by Vadney. Dug out by Cashman. For Esposito. Marcotte is on. Esposito. Controlling. Check. Has it again. Now for Marcotte. To Cashman. In front. Blocked by Redmond. And it's cleared out. And Dennis Hall breaks. Doak is back. He has Mackey with him. Drops it for Mackey. Checked by Marcotte. What a defensive play by Don Marcotte. Who got back? Here's Esposito to Cashman. Over the line. Moving. Trying to cut in. Goes to the corner. Cashman drops it. Intercepted by Dennis Howe. To Makita. Two minutes left in the period. Makita over the line. Drop pass. Russell closes. Shoots. Save. Rebound. Drive. Block. Loose puck. Shepard. A breakout for Boston. Looking for O'Reilly. O'Reilly has it over the line for Marcotte. For Shepard, shot by Redmond as Marcotte set him up. And the puck blocked by O'Reilly on Dennis Howe. He knocks Dennis Howe down. It's back to Doak. Right point, he fires, and it's wide. Left point, Dallas Smith. Closing, the shot, save, Tony Esposito. 
and it bounced hit in the air and Wally Harris listen to the crowd what a hockey game Harris calls the face off in the Chicago zone the Bruins have carried the play and Mark out and Shepard discussing their situation where he dropped it to Shepard and Shepard had the backhander but Dick Redmond just came up and uh, blocked it wide there's Marcotte who checked back on a two and one situation against Boston and prevented a shot by Mackey and broke up the play and sent it the other way Don Marcotte 127 left in the period and Bill White who's played most of the period for Chicago is out on defense with Redmond 127 left face off to the left of Tony Esposito two to one Chicago Canadians lead Buffalo two nothing Shepard against Makita. Shepard to Marcotte to Shepard the shot caught by Tony Esposito as again Redmond just got enough wood on Shepard's shot to take the steam out of it and it popped to Tony Esposito Boston has carried the play virtually the entire second period but they have only one goal Shepard the draw to dope the drive deflected wide of Tony Esposito Dallas Smith keeps it in to the backboards again White to Redmond can't connect with Makita. Dallas Smith center ice. Up for O'Reilly. O'Reilly can't connect with Shepard. 103 left in the period. O'Reilly pins Mark. Chicago leads two to one. Dallas Smith starts it out. For Dope. Fed in a save by Tony Esposito on the long shot. Marks the quick clear out. Stopped by Orr, who's on again. For Shepard, played in. White. Moves it out or with it again over to Dallas Smith up for Marcotte cuts in the middle trying to drop it for or it went outside the line or to O'Reilly broken up Dallas Smith winding up at the Boston line quick pass is checked by Marks and Mark slides it in the Boston zone and there are 20 seconds left in the period Chicago in front two to one. Out comes Marcotte. Shepard. A long shot, a save by Tony Esposito. Holds it away from O'Reilly. And it goes in the corner now to Dale Talon. Three seconds left. Two. And that's it. In a positively exciting second period. The score at the end of the second period Chicago two and Boston one. We'll be back with the summary in just a minute. Taps it up the board. White there. Checked by Hodge. Yusick centering pass. Skated off by Talon. Intercepted by Orr. Goes in deep. A backhander. Right across and wide. Sims with it. A drive in front. Deflected. Deep. Hodge. Couldn't get it. He was in deep. He spills Tony Esposito. Falls the top Redmond. And the faceoff called. And the pressure is in the second period. All Boston. 1919 left to play third period. There's Orr with a backhander. Sims drove this one on the net. This one almost went in. There it goes. Esposito with a save that he really didn't see that puck. Hodge couldn't get it by him, and we now have the face off as you saw Tony Esposito dive at that puck. And I think Beb Goodland talking to Busick about Esposito out of his goal crease and the puck over that goal line about a penalty but he's not going to discuss it with the referee face off to the left of Tony Esposito Hodge to Orr fires deflected Busek tied up by White couldn't get a shot and Dale Talon who played a lot of defense for Vancouver clears it out with Redmond Sims now for Boston winding up check gives it to Orr Orr Gets around White. Back for Hodge. The shot wide. Busick, the rebound. Rolls it in front. Hodge gets it. Tries to move it in front. Hodge checks. Back for Sims. Sims drives, and it's wide. The long rebound. Or failed to keep it in as he's wheeled around. And Chicago just jamming up in front of Tony Esposito, and there's no opening or deflection or tip in. For Boston as 836 left in the game Chicago leads two to one the play in the Chicago zone but Chicago making a one goal stand up 
And now out comes Makita, Carl, and Marx. And Beth Goodland changes. And Derek Sandin, Sanderson was thrown out of the game in the second period. A 10 minute misconduct, a game misconduct. And now Odlison is at center between Cashman and Forbes with Badney and Dallas Smith. Odlison drew it back for Dallas Smith. Up for Forbes, missed it. Russell in the center ice, stopped by Cashman. Cashman checked by Marks, and Jarrett rushes with Makita. The shot pops in the air, gloved by Gilbert, and he hangs on, and the faceoff in the Boston zone. To show you how defensive-minded Chicago have been in their own end, of the 22 shots on goal that the Bruins have managed on Esposito, 14 of those 22 have been by defensemen for the Bruins. Orr and Vadney have four each. Smith and Sims have three each. The point men are wide open in the Chicago end, but they're covering and blocking the front of that net. Vadney has Odlison won the draw against Makita. Up for Forbes, trying to beat Russell. He's checked. Odlison goes to the corner. He's checked by Jarrett. Battles Jarrett, gets it, centers it. Forbes, the shot blocked by Russell. One of the big saves of the night. Russell on Forbes as Odlison set up that play. And he's won two face-offs against Makita. Odlison back in the corner. Out for Badney. Ahead for Forbes coming up on Russell. Knocked down on a hard, clean check by Phil Russell. Carl has the puck. Clears it out for Chicago. That's all they've been doing. They're going to make that one goal stand up with. Now Odlison over the line on the right. Checked by Mark. Badney at center ice. Broken up. Makita. Pass across for Carl. Offside at the Boston Blue Line. Good chance by Dave Forbes in front on a beautiful pass by Odlison in the behind the Chicago net. Dave Forbes, a fine left winger. Making that streak down the left side. The one thing he's really got to learn and got to work on, I think, he doesn't make any fake on that defenseman as he comes down on him. He just barrels with sheer speed between the boards and, in this case, Russell. And it was very simple for Russell to move over and take him out of the play. That winger coming down should really make a fake to the inside to set the weight on that defenseman on his back skate or his inside skate. And then he has a better opportunity to get by the board. Bobby Orr from the Boston end. Now to Shepard starting out against Martin. Back for Orr. Over to Sims. Bet in. Shot on Tony Esposito. Off for Redmond. Redmond controlling. Off to Bill White. And the Hawks work it out. Long lead pass. This could be icing. Back for it. Orr ahead of Rhoda. And that's icing. 16-46. Left in the game, Chicago leads two to one. Two goals in the first period, and Boston scored in the second. And Bobby Orr in one of his super performances here tonight. But words can't describe it, really. Well, they really can't, Fred. They can only see him in replay to really appreciate the tremendous plays that he has made here tonight. Shepard against Martin, the draw to Orr. The shot is blocked. Pops in the air, and White digs it out to Pappen. Up for Rhoda. Bump. Knocked down by Sims. Sort of fell. He spun around. And it's Sims for Moore. Center ice to O'Reilly. To Shepard. Intercepted by White. Then he clears it out to center ice. Or to Sims. To Shepard. Left to Marcos. Broken up. Gets it again. Backhander. A save by Tony Esposito. Redmond trying to clear. And Rhoda takes Orr out as Sims gets it center ice. Now to Shepard. Over to Marcotte. For Orr. Can't cut in on Redmond. And the puck batted out. Shepard intercepts. Waits for Orr to clear. Lead pass for Orr, who's a fourth forward. Quick turnaround shot. White intercepts. The puck tapped out to center ice, and Orr is back to get it. Orr starts back again. Away from White. Here's a threat. Over the line. Orr closing. He's in. A backhander and a save by Tony Esposito. He faked three men and was robbed by Tony Esposito. There's a break in the action with the score. Chicago two and Boston one. Let's pause for this message. See exactly what. Words can't describe this one. Great rush by Orr. Look at that stick handling, maneuvering. Just, just great. 
Face off to the left of Tony Esposito. Chicago leads two to one. The draw won by Phil Esposito, but it goes all the way to the Boston end, away from Vatman. Talon down the four check. Vatman winding up. For Phil Esposito. Everybody back for Chicago, though. And he can't connect with Dallas Smith. Back for Russell. And icing called on that play. 15 19 left in the game. The Braves in action against the Rochester Americans on Saturday night here at the Boston Garden, 7.30 p.m. They are playing games on Tuesday night at Ridge Arena, but this Saturday night it will be Rochester Americans and the Braves at Boston Garden at 7.30. Talon, Dennis Hull, Chico Mackey for Chicago. The Bruins have carried the play since the start of the second period. Dominating the play, but they've only beaten Tony Esposito once. Dallas Smith out. Well, Phil Esposito didn't get the pass, and Russell moves it back in. Dallas Smith winding up. Slowed down by Talon. Now to Vadney. Away from Mackey, but broken up by Talon, and cleared back in. Chicago strong defensively now, with four checking. Hodge to Vadney. Out for Busick. For Vadney, Busek fell down. Vadney rushes. Cleared in, broken up by Jarrett. And Jarrett just slides it out. A long pass, Dallas Smith. Not icing as it rolls down wide of Tony Esposito. Now for Russell. 14 22 left in the game. Russell controlling. Chicago leads 2 to 1. And he slides this along the dasher to the Boston end. No icing. Vadney back. Dallas Smith plays the board. Checked by Dale Talon and Chico Mackey. And the Bruins having trouble now getting it going. Now it's to Busick. His blind pass did not connect with Phil Esposito. And Jarrett has possession. Busick caught and Jarrett. He's slow to get out. Oh, did he hit Jarrett? John Busick. With a jolting check. Jarrett still out there. Obviously in pain. Here comes Vadney. Over the line. Gets in deep. Can't center it. Checked by Talon. Back to help out. Vadney digging for it. Falls on the puck. And the faceoff called in the Chicago zone. And what a hit on that one. There's a break in the action with the score. Chicago 2 Boston 1. Let's pause for this message. I just heard the McBunnies. As good an open ice check as you'll see. Busek on Jarrett. A solid hip check. He really flattened him. And he hurt him. He may not be back. Out comes Marks for Chicago after the faceoff. Over the line. Shot is wide. Or checked by Marks in the boards and tied up for a faceoff. You know, Fred, those checks along the boards may make a lot of noise. But those, it's the checks in open ice that really hurt. And he really caught Jarrett. A very solid hip check. And the one that Sims Cornway in Montreal Saturday night, a tremendous check. White keeps it in, blocked by Sims, deflects into the crowd. 13.08 left in the game. Chicago leads 2-1. to one. Goals by Pitt Martin and uh, Darcy Rota in the first period. Greg Shepard on a rebound of a Bobby Orr. A brilliant rush in the second period. And that's all for Boston as, uh, despite the fact they're carrying the play for the most part, Adlison on the faceoff gets the draw to Sims. That's three face-offs. Oblison has won against Makita. Or to Sims. Over the line. Some open ice. Pass for Forbes into the corner. Pass back to the left point. Oblison drives it in deep. Blocked by White. Out to Makita. To Cliff Carl. And offside as Marks was in ahead of the play. And now let's pause for this program reminder. Watch the finals at the U.S. Pro Indoor Tennis Championships. Tennis greats compete for $100,000 in prize money Sunday at 4.30 on TV 38. The draw into the Chicago zone. No icing on that. Bill White. Round for Redmond. Out for Makita. Checked by Odlison. Odlison to Cashman. Over the line. Quick shot to save Tony Esposito. Rebound now, Redmond. Out for Marks. 
ahead of Nikita. Rolls down to save Gilbert. Into the corner, intercepted by Marks. Marks broken up by Orr. Set around for Forbes. Forbes to the other side for Cashman. He starts out, but everybody back for Chicago. They're changing on the fly to Orr. Over the line for Forbes. Poke checked away. Sims. Check. Cashman trying to break in. Camp. And what defensive play by Chicago. 11.42 left in the game now. And Boston has slowed down its good attack that was rolling there, led by Orr. And uh, Chicago just playing it very cautiously and capably, defensively. And Boston frustrated again. Here's Dallas Smith. Lead pass, Shepard over the line in deep. Gets it. To Marcotte. What a save by Tony Esposito. Clear cut chance. Don Marcotte's backhander. This has been one of the most effective lines for Boston. O'Reilly battling Jarrett for Shepard. Checked by Martin. Martin pass around. Happened. Just taps it out the center ice. 11 minutes left in the game. Shepard back. Away from Martin. Clears it in. Back for it first, Russell. Around the board. Dallas Smith can't keep it in, and Marcotte flattened Russell. Shepard back for Vadney. Vadney to Dallas Smith. Lead pass. Shepard would have been in alone, and Darcy Rota broke up that play. There wasn't a defenseman in sight. Now Shepard, quick pass, intercepted by Martin for Russell. Russell just clears it in wide of Gilbert. Chicago with quick changes, and just one thought in mind, big D defense. Vadney rushes. Over the line. Check. Keeps it in to Shepard. Shot is blocked by White. The defense has been everywhere when Boston's had a chance. With the score, Chicago 2 and Boston 1. Let's pause for this. Shepard moving down in the corner. Marcotte will get this backhand shot. Esposito would really be routine stop. Still Esposito to Orr. A quick clear in the corner. Redman and Hodge. Busick. Hodge with it. For Busick. Try to get it back. Check. Busick in the corner. For Hodge. Has to go to the corner for it. Pass in front. Knocked away. Busick to Sims. Quick drive in. Deflected save. The deflections. Everything's rolling for Chicago. No question about that as Boston carries the play. Dale Talon really sticking as close as glue to Phil Esposito in front of that net, which means that the defensemen are going to have to do the uh, digging the puck out of the corners. You'll see Talon. He's right on top of Esposito. There he is, number 19. Jarrett took that last shift, but he's not 100%. The Bruins might take advantage of that left side of that Chicago defense if he comes out on another shift because it looks like his knee is hurting. On the faceoff, batted around. White trying to clear it. Sims can't keep it in. White everywhere. Big rangy defenseman and uh, Pope checked that out. Sims now Busick for Orr to Hodge by Dennis Howell. A pass in the corner for Busick. Fires across. Blocked. Deflected. Loose. And Redmond has it. Redmond slows it down and passes out to center ice where Orr intercepts for Hodge. Back for Orr, broken up by Redmond and cleared out. Now at the Boston zone, Sims. Nine minutes and nine seconds left in the game. Chicago with a remarkable defensive performance. Esposito out by White to Busick. For Esposito, miss. And Jarrett clears it out. Orr for Esposito. Break here. Back for Hodge. Back for Orr. Green shot. And Tony Esposito with the glove. Got a piece of it. Long pass out. Dennis Howell just clears it to the Boston zone. Chicago, of course, really with just that assignment. They're not carrying the offense at all unless they get a clear cut break. Everybody back as Orr starts out. 8.30 left in the game. Orr shot block. Sims with it. Inside the line for Cashman. Hooked away. Bounces loose. And Tony Esposito ties it up well out of the net to the left. With the score, Chicago 2 and Boston 1. Let's pause for this.
Tony Esposito, who's been solid in goal for Chicago. Odlison, Forbes, Cashman the line. Odlison against Makita to Cashman. Can't get a handle. Odlison does. A backhander saves Tony Esposito. Cashman looking for the rebound is ridden off by Marks. Makita clears it. Cut back now. Odlison has to wait for Cashman to clear. Over to Vadney. Shot in, blocked by Marks. And he ties it up with Cashman on the board. Dennis Hall is not 100%. Two weeks ago injured in the collision with Bobby Orr in a groin injury. And uh, Talon is coming off actually a fractured wrist. And he has a uh, cast on his left hand. But they are back. And they are playing excellent defensive hockey. Boston pressing, pressing. But uh, cannot penetrate Tony Esposito. The name of the game as Chicago leads 2-1. to one. Montreal leads Buffalo 2-1. They led 2-0. Buffalo just scored, and that's an important game for the Bruins. Dallas Smith now for Boston. Pass intercepted. Missed by Marks. Cleared down by Cashman. Rolls wide of Tony Esposito and Russell there first. Russell turns the net and starts on the attack. Just flips it in the Boston zone and stands at the line. Backboard Badney. Trying to get away from Marks who is a very solid defensive forward. Odlison out. Good fake on Nikita. Odlison center ice. Over the line. Trying to go right through. Is taken out by two defensemen. Into the corner. Marks trying to clear it out. Badney pokes it back in. Back for it now. Jarrett. Feed up to Nikita. Out to Carl. And Chicago gets it to Marks. Carl. Over the line. Shot miss. Mark centers it. Tied up by Gilbert right at the crease. One of the rare sorties by Chicago in the third period. And in the second period, they had only three shots. But they were playing defensively as they are now. As the Bruins were in St. Louis with a 1 0 lead. And Chicago making it stand up 2 to 1. Good defensive play by Russell and Jarrett. As Odlison came through the center, made a fine shift on Nikita in his own end. And then tried to split the defense. Jarrett, who was playing hurt on that terrific check that was thrown by Johnny Busick earlier in this period, made a good defensive play. Shepard wins the faceoff for Orr. Back for Shepard. Cutter Rice coming hard. Taken out of the play by Redmond. And White back to cover. Around for Pappen. Out, stopped by O'Reilly. Quick shot, blocked. Sims drives it up, blocked. And Redmond breaks it out. For Darcy Rhoda. For Redmond. Checked by Sims. And he hauls him down. And O'Reilly. To Markov. To Orr. Here he comes on Rhoda. Takes Rhoda out of the play. And it's ruled offside. Moving over the Chicago blue line. As Rhoda was back on defense that time. 6.26 left in the game. Chicago leads 2-1. to one. Goal scoring for Chicago, both in the first period. Martin, his 20th of the year. Rhoda, his 13th. Boston's only goal so far in the second period. Shepard, his fifth of the year. Face off between Martin and Shepard. Shepard draws it back. Sims has to go in the Boston zone. Over to Orr. For Shepard. Get in wide of Tony Esposito. Mark out on it. Back to Sims. The drive block. And Chicago out. Martin. Tap and carries. On his off wing. Blocked by Shepard. Now it goes to Roder and the shot is a save. Darcy Roder well set up 30 feet in front. And Gilbert the save. As Shepard starts it out to Orr. 550 left of the game to Mark out. In for Shepard, he missed the pass as he was hit and knocked down by Jarrett. Into the corner, O'Reilly gets it. All over him is Rhoda, though. O'Reilly still digging. Back for Orr, it's tapped out by Martin to the Boston zone. 527 left. Dallas Smith on the move. A pass in is stopped by Jarrett, and he clears it right out. Breaking up the play, Dale Talon. Breaking in on Gilbert and missed on the short side. Mackey has it on the other side. Centering pass blocked by Vadney. Mackey on it again. Out of the corner, a backhander blocked by Dallas Smith. To Vadney. 
Doesn't clear it. A shot saves. Joubert off Mackey's backhander. Callen trying to keep it in with Russell. He's hit on the board by Markov, and it's jammed up as Chicago put the heat on there. And Mackey and Talon first had a great chance. Faceoff will be just inside the Boston line. 4.54 left in the game. It is Chicago 2 and Boston 1. There's Mackey almost getting a goal on the rebound off Dallas Smith. Couldn't find the handle in time. Vadney on the faceoff to Phil Esposito. To Vadney. The drive. Caught. Dropped by Tony Esposito for Talon. He's checked. But still controls it. And wheels out of the zone. Talon up the middle. To Dennis Howe. Locked. Puck loose. And Vadney has it. Vadney starts out. To Phil Esposito. Over the line. Has to clear it in. Back there first is Russell. Around the board. Hodge checks it. For Dallas Smith broken up and Talon is out. Talon to Dennis Hall with Mackey. The drive. Hit the post. To the right. Another drive. Blocked by Dallas Smith. Over to Busek. Out to Esposito. Too many men on the ice. Chicago. Nobody saw it. Esposito ridden off as he started to go in. And Nikita checked by Hodge. Fed in deep. Russell. Hit by Busick. Jams it up and gets the faceoff. There's a break in the action with the score. Chicago 2 and Boston 1. Let's pause for this message. Every icy winter, we try to find a warm spot. Delta Airlines has a warm spot for you. It's called Florida. From Boston, Delta flies frequent non-stops to Miami and Fort Lauderdale every day. And the night coach fare to both is just $80. Don't get left out in the cold. Get yourself a warm spot in Florida. Call Delta or your travel agent. Delta is ready when you are. 3.44 left in the game. Esposito, Cashman, Hodge the line with Orr and Vadney at the left point. That's the power play lineup, except Cashman's at left wing for Busick. How about that to drive by Dennis Hall, Fred? A high rising slap shot from about 25, 30 feet. He hit the goal post on the short side, and I think Dennis Hall probably moves that puck faster than anybody in the National Hockey League. He moved in off that left wing, and he really blasted one. Very accurate with that slap shot, and the goal post saved it. Well, it's Peter Puck on NBC, and that's Peter Pipe. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Or shoots, save, Tony Esposito on the short side. Hodge keeps it in. Drives, blocked by Nikita. Behind the net, fought for. White around the board. Vadney moves way in, can't keep it in. It's cleared out by Carl going for it. Nikita and Orr. Orr checks him. They battle. Orr jammed up. Where's the puck? Back for Cashman. To Vadney. 321 left in the game. Chicago leads 2 to 1. Vadney slides it in. Ashman going in hard. Hodge in the corner gets it. Centers it right across an open net. Drive by Vadney. Blocked. As it deflects wide and bounces to John Marks. Out to Makita. White coming up. Makita fires. Blocked by Vadney. Kept in. Rolls over to Hodge. And Boston starts it out to Cashman. To Hodge. Over the line. Shifting, moving in. The shot blocked by Redmond. Deflection to the crowd. And that's a great play by Redmond. And those defensemen have done so much of that for Chicago. Good and play Hodge. by Hodge, uh, Fred, really. He faked the drop pass to Esposito, then drew it around. But Redmond got his stick in the way and deflected it into the crowd. The faceoff should be not in the faceoff circle, but almost that point but Wally Harris the referee is signaling the faceoff outside the Chicago blue line but the shot by Hodge was deflected by Redmond for the Blackhawks into the crowd and at the at the point of the deflection here it comes up again you be the judge uh, we, maybe we're wrong but here's a good move by Hodge now with a fake drop pass right here and then the draw around now watch Redmond with his stick 
right there, and he deflects it up into the crowd, so that's where the face-off should be, right on that face-off spot. It was a little deeper than we thought originally, but the referee, Wally Harris, rules the face-off outside. The Bruins argued a little bit, Hodge and Esposito, but um, this is where the face-off's going to be. Doak on the fence with Dallas Smith, Shepard, uh, Marcado, Riley, the line. Shepard in pursuit of Russell. Clears it out. Stopped by Dallas Smith for Shepard. Dead back in, and everybody hustles in. The first down of this happens. Clears it around the board. Rhoda checked by Shepard. They dig it out for Martin. Martin stopped by Marcotte, but it bounces now for Pappen. Pappen winding up. Over to Darcy Rhoda. 2.14 left in the game. Bet in the Boston end. Dallas Smith trying to get away from Martin. Martin check. Doak gets it. Doak starts it out. For Marcotte. In for O'Reilly. Broken up. Dallas Smith on it. Broken up by Martin. Martin's pass stopped by Doak. Now Shepard on the loose puck in the Boston zone. 145 left in the game. It's coming to that time. Chicago leads two to one. A pass stop. Dope replaced by Orr. Orr clears it in and goes to the corner against Garrett. Garrett gets the puck. Looks for a face off. Check. Marcotte out in front. O'Reilly keeps it in. Shepard a shot. Blocked by Russell and cleared. 120 left in the game. Four, playing center now. Over the line, the drive, deflected wide. We'll keep an eye on Gilbert. The long rebound into center ice. One ten left in the game. O'Reilly crashes Martin. Back for it, Marcotte. One oh five left in the game. Play in the Boston end as Marcotte starts it out. Marcotte to Orr. Fifty eight seconds left. Orr. Quick shift on White is flipped. And Orr up to protest to Harris. Vigorously. <laughs> Harris has given a misconduct to Esposito. And maybe to Bobby Orr. I don't know, Fred. He sort of uh, motioned to two players. I don't know whether he gave it to both of them or not, but there's one going to go for sure. to wait and see 50 seconds left to play in the third period Boston trailing by one goal two to one they put a lot of pressure on Chicago from the second period on but have only been able to put the puck by Tony Esposito just once that was Shepard his fifth of the year for more at 514 of the second period Chicago scoring two goals in the second period there's Harry Sinden managing director and he's not too pleased out of the proceeding But Orr has gone to the Bruins dressing room. The play developed at the Chicago Blue Line. Bill White came out to meet Orr. He was stick handling. Orr, uh, Orr tried to shift around him. Now watch right here. Watch Bill White's right leg. Here it comes now. The right leg. Oh, I guess it's the stick. I'm sorry. It was his arm and his stick. And they, that was what the argument was all about. Orr got up. He challenged the referee, Wally Harris. Now, uh, Sanderson has been thrown out of the game at 14.44 of the second period. A 10-minute misconduct and a game misconduct when he brushed the referee, Wally Harris. White stuck out the stick in the arm, and Orr went over it. And then he got up and started to argue with the referee for a penalty. the play coming up again. Now watch White stick in his arm as he goes down. Orr gave him the fake to one side, then pulled it around to go the other way. And there he goes. And we now have a, what was that, Fred? A bench minor penalty and a 10-minute misconduct. Where does the bench come from? But uh, obviously... Uh 
Could it have been uh, Sendon's protest or uh, uh, just at the option of uh, Wally Harris? Uh, well, it would have to come from somebody on the bench or something around that bench that can be caused by a, a general manager, a managing director, a coach can draw one. And uh, we don't know what exactly went on, but uh, we've got the ice showered with paper, and uh, now we see a couple of bottles, or one bottle at least, coming out, which, of course, is exceptionally dangerous. And we're going to have a delay here as... With 50 seconds left to play in the third period, Boston trailing by a score of 2-1 to one, draws a bench minor penalty and a misconduct penalty to Bobby Orr. Well, four penalties were called in the game, and the two against uh, Chicago, Russell went out for tripping in the first period, and Redmond for tripping in the second period, were both uh, drawn by Bobby Orr as he was uh, tripped by them. And Harris has uh, let others go, and uh, on this one here, with debris being thrown on the ice, uh, the final 50 seconds will be almost academic. The Bruins will be uh, with a man in the penalty box. And of course, what it is is the culmination of uh, frustration in the evening for uh, Boston. Or, or has simply uh, been magnificent, uh, only figured with in one goal. But he has carried the play. The Bruins have carried the play, but they haven't been able to tie it up or uh, do anything beyond the one goal. And you have to salute Chicago for strong defensive play. But the frustration is now taken out on uh, Wally Harris, the referee. Well, actually, Fred, this delay would favor Chicago more than the Bruins because uh, Chicago are resting their strong defensive players like Bill White, who really has played a tremendous hockey game for Chicago on defense. And now let's pause five seconds for station identification. This is WSBK-TV, Channel 38, Boston. Well, it's going to be a long time before they clear this up. Uh, no question about that. And uh, the goal scoring in the first period, Pitt Martin is 20th of the year from Randy Rota and Dick Redman at 9.02, a power play goal. And then Rota at 18.48 from Martin made it 2-0. Boston took over and has taken over from the second start of the second period on, but they've been unable to beat uh, Tony Esposito's save for the play where Orr sifted through the defense and shot. Tony Esposito saved, and Greg Shepard drove in the rebound. Oh, it's getting kind of dangerous out uh, here, Fred, and ridiculous. Somebody just threw a bottle on the ice, and it broke into a million pieces. Uh, you know, that's a stupid thing to do, really. Uh, bottles and things thrown on the ice only cause injury to players, delay the game, spoil it for many, many, many fans who are here tonight. And both players are now, uh, both teams, rather, are going to their respective dressing rooms. And when things subside, I, I suppose the game will be resumed with 50 seconds left to play in the third period. And uh, there is really being no attempt made to clean the ice. And it is littered with uh, all kinds of uh, debris. There's beer cans and bottles, paper cups and popcorn boxes. And we'll have to wait for an uh, announcement, I suppose, Fred. I, I, you know, if this happened like at the st end of the second period or the end of the first, they would just have the ice cleaned and play that remaining 50 seconds at the start of the next period. But now we're at the end of the game with just 50 seconds left. And a two minute bench minor penalty called against the Bruins will be served by somebody. Bobby Orr also received a 10 minute misconduct. And that's of course what, what started really was the argument on the tripping call or, or the uh, what they felt should have been a tripping call against Bill White right at the Chicago blue line. Orr got up after being knocked down by White's stick in his arm at 19.10, and he discussed it with Wally Harris, the referee, quite vehemently. And just when the bench minor penalty was assessed against the Bruins, we really don't know from over here, but Orr got a 10-minute misconduct and also a bench minor penalty drawn against the Bruins, so they will be, in essence, a man short. 
However, Gilbert was coming out of the net at the time that Orr made the rush, so they would have an extra man. Here's another look at that play, which has prompted this um, outpouring of debris on the ice. Here's Orr coasting through the center over the Chicago blue line. Now, that's Bill White right there. Is it a trip or isn't it a trip? The referee, Wally Harris, did not call a penalty. And um, the play was called offside as well. The play was offside at the moment he crossed the blue line. The whistle went, and then the argument started. And both teams have left their respective benches and the ice to go to the dressing room because, of course, this debris was getting very dangerous. And uh, we see several bottles on the ice right now. And boy, from a... They want an opinion, Fred, of a former player. A very, very dangerous habit throwing debris on the ice. Uh, players can be hurt very severely. Not only the visiting players, but the uh, home team. And a practice, certainly, that um, really is very unnecessary. Well, of course, with the long delay here, uh, it's going to be a good uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, you and I can talk, and they can, uh, fans at home can look at debris, and that's going to be frustrating, too. Yeah. Uh, Want me to sing a song, Fred? A little, uh, right. I don't know. That's indoor, outside the indoor. I don't know if Fred mentioned this, but we had two minor. Fred, and that it's a bench minor penalty against the Bruins. They do not have to send anybody into the penalty box because there's only 50 seconds left in the game, so we may never know exactly who it is. But Orr received a misconduct penalty. Smith, Cashman, and Vadney. And the puck to Vadney, 48 seconds left in the game. Vadney fires it in. Tony Esposito blocks it behind the net. Out of the net, he's hit by Cashman. Centering pass, rolls back near the line, but Redmond has it, taps it away. Breaking, marks with Carl. Closing, pass to Carl, a shot. Deflected wide as it was blocked by Dallas Smith. 26 seconds left in the game. Cashman to Dallas Smith with Phil Esposito. Up for Phil Esposito, too far ahead. He pokes it in the corner. Gilbert is out. The puck's jammed in the corner. And a whistle for a faceoff in the Chicago zone with 14 seconds left in the game. Gilbert out of the net. There's the net, and, look, and Gilbert left his stick in front of the net, Fred. He just dropped his stick as he came out. That's been a play that uh, Vachon tried the other night for the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, Gilbert's stick is sitting in the goal crease. Not in the goal case, rather. It's just outside. You see it right there. I don't know. We're going to have a discussion here about something. They're going to measure a Bruin stick, I guess. I would assume it's a Bruin stick. I think or maybe... they're going to measure Makita's stick. Uh, Fred Stan Makita is without a stick, and so they're going to measure that. That happened, I guess, as we discussed. Scotty Bowman did that against the Los Angeles Kings. And now we've got a problem here. Billy Ray has spotted Gilbert's stick laying outside the crease. And this is something that Vashon did uh, in a game against Philadelphia. And it was left there and then removed by the linesman after the next whistle. So uh, high degree of strategy here tonight. Well, Fred, you know, that, that could be considered a somewhat of interference in a way if he did not break his stick. If he's got a broken stick, he can drop it and, and get another one. But I guess it's just going to be picked up by the linesman, John D'Amico. The uh, measurement of Nikita's stick uh, seems to be uh, in order. If it was not in order, if it was more than a half an inch curve, then the Blackhawks would be penalized, a two-minute penalty. So the Bruins would have a man advantage uh, considering the fact that they have the goaltender out. They're really a man short with the bench minor penalty, but they have the goaltender out and a new and another forward on the ice. I don't know what the horoscope reads. It's not the Bruins night. They lost that one. That's going to cost them something. But the faceoff with Gilbert out will be to the right of Tony Esposito. The lone man back is Shepard. And across the front it's Esposito, Cashman on the left, Hodge and Vadney. And for Chicago, they've got the man advantage, and they've got Martin and Pappen and Mackey, White and Redmond. 
Boston Esposito will try to get it to Shepard for a quick drive with Hodge and Badney screening. 14 seconds left. A false start. And the puck is poked in, tapping around for Martin. He taps it up, and Mackey will break. Mackey's offside. Six seconds left. The faceoff back inside the Chicago line. And close to the faceoff spot. So the key will be the draw, and Phil Esposito did not go for a draw back to Shepard. Not a very smart play on the part of uh, Chico Mackey. The puck would not have been called for icing, but now we've got a big discussion going on as to where the faceoff should be. Mackey was offside. They're going to face it off in the big faceoff circle to the right of Tony Esposito. I think Phil actually tried to shoot the puck into the corner, hoping that Cashman could move in and pick it up and then lay it out in front. This would give Esposito a chance, or Phil rather, to move in front of the net. He may try the same thing here with six seconds, or he may go for a shot on goal. Here it is, six seconds left. Two to one, Chicago. The draw to Shepard. Drive and a screen. Locked in front. Struck Bill White. Cleared out by Chicago. The buzzer sounds. The game is over. The final score is Chicago two and Boston one. We'll have the summary in just a minute. And back, and Orr rushes now. Two man advantage for Boston. 